Hey YouTube, this is Meanie with BAMS Tactical. Uh, moving right along in our series, uh, we are now on part five of the um, our prepper checklist. So if you missed part four, it is exclusively for Patreon. Uh, so part four was protection, and so it had talk and, and videos of firearms. So I didn't want to show that on YouTube because they they like to make a mess of things. So part five now. This is first aid and trauma. First aid and trauma are two different things, right? First aid is something minor, right? So first aid is designed, first aid kit is designed to treat common household injuries and should be relatively small and portable. So let's talk about first aid kits first. Um, to me, they can be just as simple as the kind of stuff that you pick up at Walmart, right? Um, so for me and my wife, we have something similar to this uh, in both of our vehicles. This one actually came out of my truck and then um, something similar to this at our house. So it just has the basic stuff, like it says 140 pieces, but it's it's got all of your basic band-aids and, and things like that to handle just really minor stuff. And it's got some, you know, some medicine in there. Um, but first aid kits are, are for things that are kind of an inconvenience that you don't want to get worse, right? You have a cut, you don't want it to get infected, you need to clean it and cover it and so on. Um, or, you know, you're bleeding minorly and you and you want to cover that up so these are cheap they're easy to get right now you can go to any kind of box store and get one of these and what i suggest is everybody have one in each of their vehicles and, and one in their home and then uh in that for tier one tier two we start getting some backups but for tier one just one in the house and one in each vehicle but after that what we need is a trauma kit per person so i have some examples of trauma kits so trauma kits also known as individual first aid kits or blowout kits, um, are designed to treat in injuries that can be life-threatening very quickly, right? These could be um, deep cuts, uh, maybe, and it doesn't. This doesn't have to be from combat, right? It could be a chainsaw accident or, or an axe accident, or maybe you're cutting in the kitchen and and, and you and you cut yourself. Um, it could be from gunshots, both unintentional and intentional. Uh, it could be airway problems, respiratory problems, circulation, all of those things um, could be reasons that we need to use a, uh, a blowout kit or a, a trauma kit. So I've got some examples here. Um, this is one that I actually built myself. This is a 511 two banger. I don't think they even make this bag anymore. It's made to hold magazines, but instead of the magazines, I put uh, pressure bandages and stuff like that in here. So we've got... Uh, some uh, chest seals and some pressure bandages where the rifle mags would go. I also have some quick clot in here um, and things like that. So I shoved those where the magazines would go. I had some uh, some tourniquets on the outside and this was actually like my active shooter response kit. So in here, in addition to the gloves and you know the, the nasal airway and stuff like that, I also have some cuffs um, so that if for some reason uh, the bad person was still breathing when the shooting stopped, you could restrain them. Um, but this is just one that I made on my own. I looked up the type of things that you would need and I built my own. You can also buy some online pre-made uh, and they range from relatively cheap. Um, I love um, uh, Bear Independence. Uh, Refuge Medical is actually what it's called. I think they've got some really good products uh, and they've got some from relatively cheap. This is their Cub Pro. Uh, this, as you see, has a Velcro backing. This was actually goes on the back of my, my truck. Um, so I just ripped it off to bring it in to show you. But it's got, you know, a tourniquet on there. It's got the shears. And then inside, it's got more of the things that you would need. Um, like I said, the typical ones, what you really need is you need some... Uh, Here we go, the trauma dressing. So these are uh, ones that you can really wrap around tight. Um, this is an, what I was showing you earlier, the Israeli bandage. Um, you also have the pressure H bandages and things like that that you can really crank down. So you need gauze to shove in, then you need the pressure bandage on the outside. And then somewhere upstream towards your heart, you need to put a tourniquet. Uh, that's the basic idea, but there's a whole lot more in these kits. So if you buy a pre-made one, um, I actually think that you get a little bit more for your value. Um, 
I guess it's really, I, I guess, at Refuge Medical because they're a little cheaper than other places, but they've got better stuff because uh, they can buy it in bulk, whereas we have to buy it one at a time. So I like the Cub Pro, um, but the outside is Condor. So another option is the bare minimum. I like this one. Uh, this is actually my battle belt. Um, I have a similar setup, uh, like a buddy mirror to this one. Um, and they both have one of these on there and it just pulls out. Same idea, you open it up and it's got your, your pressure dressings, um, tourniquets, uh, shears, and uh, gauze to pack into the wounds. So these are just some different options, like I said. Um, but you need one per person. Um, you don't want one to share because if y'all both got hurt at a similar time, you would use it up really quickly. Um, my other suggestion is like me and my wife both have one of these and it's in the same spot on both of our cars. So we know real quickly in an emergency where to go to get it. Just like this one is on this belt. Let me just grab the other one real quick. Got it off to the side here, but... As you can see, set up similarly, right? And it's in the same spot. So, um, and this is their their logo for those of you who are interested in looking into it. Um, so you keep it in the same spot so that um, both people know real quickly where they can grab it from. So this is a short video. I'll keep it uh, short here. I don't want to keep rambling. Need first aid kit in your house and in both vehicles. And I suggest a trauma kit in each vehicle um, and having one on any each person's loadout. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, this was part five again of our 20 video series. Uh, part six is going to be about basic medical and dental supplies. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it, share it, like it, subscribe, all the things and check us out on Patreon. Thanks for watching.